Hi, my name's Rebecca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you what I've bought for my weekly food shop. Before we get into it, I just want to say that it was intending to be a full shop for the week. However, when I went through my cupboards and my fridge and my freezer, I've still got food in that I need to eat. So I've not bought things that I don't need because it's a going to be a waste of money and it's going to waste food so what I've done is just done it as a top-up shop I was intending to do it as a full shop but it hasn't worked that way so there's not many items to go through but I want to show you what I have bought so let's get into it so here's the shopping haul like I say there isn't much here at the moment because it's just a top-up shop but I'm going to show you what I have bought a couple of reduced items so that's always exciting <laughs> Now, all of this did cost £22.45. So not too bad. I don't think that's too bad. The turkey mints that I bought, now it's 7% fat. It's 7% fat and it is 30% off. So it expires on the 29th of May. It was £1.74. It should have been £2.49. Didn't think it was too bad, to be honest. There were quite a few things reduced. I didn't take all of the turkey mints. There were a few that they'd reduced. So I've got two of those that were the same price each. Now, what I'm going to do with those is portion them off. So half of it I can have for like a lunch, half of it I'll have for like a dinner or something. But I am going to freeze them just so I've got them in the freezer, just in case I'm running low on any protein sources. The next thing is this big pack of chicken. Now, there's quite a lot of chicken in there. This will feed me for the whole week. I'm following like a bodybuilding, weightlifting style diet at the moment. So this is a really good source of protein. I have been eating chicken thighs recently and I wanted to change. So I just fancy the, the chicken breasts. I don't just eat chicken. <laughs> I do eat other things as well. So these are 11 99 for two kilograms. Obviously they expire the 4th of June, but I can freeze them as well. And that'll feed me the week, to be honest. I tend to eat a lot of the same things over and over. It does save money, it can be a bit boring, it works for me, it's just me on my own and it works really well. Then we've got like fruits, vegetables, all those sort of things, two packs of bananas. I've started eating two bananas a day. There's five in there, so not too bad. They'll last me about a week. I don't think five's enough because I like to have at least a banana a day, but with my weight training, what I tend to do after I've been to the gym, I'll have a banana and it'll keep me going until I get home to be able to cook. And then I'll have like a proper sort of meal. But the bananas are good. They're also good for a mid-morning snack at work. So I always pick up two packs of bananas. They are 85 pence each, so not too bad at all. So I thought that's pretty okay. Cucumber, self-explanatory. <laughs> I have this for salads. I also like to eat cucumbers because it's got a lot of water, sort of fluid in. So it's good for hydration as well. It's quite refreshing. It's something that I do like to add in my salads or just a snack on if I feel a bit peckish. Cucumber 79p, so again, not too bad. Asparagus, I wasn't gonna buy these, but they were on offer. <laughs> not yellow stick or anything, but they were, you know, when little do the offers that they have. I do love asparagus, but it is quite pricey, so I don't have it very often unless it's reduced. Now, I'll have those for my dinners. I tend to pair them up with broccoli, spinach, all those sort of things. I've already got the broccoli and spinach in. I've got some green beans as well, so it gets a bit boring eating the same stuff over and over. So asparagus is really good, really healthy for you as well. And these were £1.25, so I thought for a bit of a change, they're not too bad. They'll probably last me a few days, to be honest, probably last me about four days or so. I can probably stretch out of the asparagus. I've got different vegetables. I like to mix up with it as well, so it doesn't get boring. Now carrots, I don't usually eat carrots very often, I've gone through a phase of not really eating them but I've picked them up as a kilogram bag and I fancied just, now it's getting a bit warmer as a bit of a snack or in my salads for work, I'll take like a carrot and just eat it. Now these are 60p, I remember when they used to be like 20p, 23p but they've gone up quite a lot, 60p, I think that's quite steep, however they they'll get eaten but i don't really buy them very often so i don't really eat them but i just fancy some so it's just something a bit different i don't tend to boil them i tend to eat them raw so i'll just obviously peel them and eat them with my salads or as a snack so they'll do as well apples now these are the fun size apples that little do the other apples were like one pound fifty one pound seventy 
for like the Gala apples, Braeburn and all those sort of apples. Lidl didn't have any other offers on the apples, so I went for the fun size apples, which you can see they are a lot smaller, but they do the job. And as they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> So it's good for you. They are 95p and obviously there's only six in there so it won't quite last a week but it's not too bad. I like to take them to work with me again something to snack on just a little bit of a snack they're quite sweet as well so they're not too bad. Then we've got then we've got the grapes so these were on offer not with the yellow stickers or the orange stickers. I do have these on my overnight oats I couldn't see any blueberries to pick up so I've picked up these now these were on offer so I've picked them up over like the darker grapes like the red grapes or the black grapes so I alternate whatever's on offer these will last me they will last me the week I'll have a handful on my overnight oats and it will do the job and these were £1.69 from Lidl for 500 grams so it's not too bad the other grapes I think were £1.80 something like that so not much of a difference but over the course of buying things that are a little bit more expensive it does mount up so I always try and go for the cheapest option <laughs> if there's an offer providing they all look okay I always check grapes to make sure they look okay because some of them were going a bit mouldy in the other packs but these look okay I obviously do wash them before I put them in my breakfast as well so that's it for the little shop for today. I also went to Tesco, I think it was yesterday I nipped in, just to see what was on offer, reduced, and I found, so I found a couple of packs of sweet potatoes when I was in Tesco yesterday. So we've got two packs of sweet potatoes, and they are both, it should have been £1.30, reduced to 69p, both bags. So this is like my carbohydrates that I eat. I love sweet potatoes. These are quite big potatoes, so what I will do is tend to put them as jacket potatoes. I might peel some of them as well and just boil them. You can turn them into mash. You can do all sorts with sweet potatoes. But I was running low on them, so it was actually, I was in the right place at the right time to find those. So two packs for 69p each, not too bad. And it's a good saving, to be honest. I know it doesn't look like a lot of food, but it is only a top-up shop this week. I was surprised how much food I still had in stock. In stock, you know, in, in, at home, <laughs> in my cupboards, in the fridge and in the freezer. So I just bought the things that I did need just to tide me over until I can do a full shop. I was intending to do a full shop of what I eat, how long it lasts and all that, but I've still got bits in. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but there's only me that I'm feeding and I am following like a bodybuilding sort of weightlifting diet at the moment to try and gain more muscle, more strength, more fitness and all of that. I'm trying to prepare my mindset just to get into these healthy habits. Now, I don't eat bread at the moment. Very rarely eat bread these days because it bloats me and I feel like I gain a lot more weight. It causes inflammation and other things. So it's very rare that I eat bread, which is why it's never in my shopping or it's very rarely in my shopping. Carbohydrate wise, what I tend to eat is sweet potatoes, white potatoes, rice, all those sort of things just to keep me going. And I change that up throughout the course of the day. I've also got my overnight oats. So the porridge oats as well are obviously carbohydrates. And I know you've got the fruits and vegetables as well with carbs. I'm on about like the slow releasing carbs. Protein sources, I know it doesn't look like a lot of protein. It probably might look like a lot of protein actually for one person, <laughs> but... I eat a lot of protein in a day and I've already got protein in. So I've got tinned fish, so mackerel, sardines, tuna, pilchard, salmon. I've also got fresh salmon that I've got in the freezer. I've got some chicken still that I've got in the freezer. All those sort of things. I'm just trying to think what else. I've got a steak that I've just defrosted, which I got reduced. So I got that and I'll put it in the freezer because it was going to be out of date. So I'm having that tonight with some vegetables, sweet potatoes. And oh, it's going to be so good. I'm looking forward to it. And that's for tonight. A lot of protein in steak. I very rarely eat red meat because it doesn't always agree with me. But you can't beat a steak. Oh, it's so good. I don't tend to eat a lot of things like chocolates, biscuits, crisps, cakes, sweets, all those sort of things. I do sometimes, but I very rarely buy like a packet of biscuits or a chocolate because I'm trying to be healthy. I'm trying to follow like a bodybuilding, weightlifting sort of diet. And I feel like eating that sort of stuff does really hold me back with my progress with my fitness now that's my preference not everybody is gonna agree with that and that's absolutely fine that's just what i'm doing at the moment i'm not saying i never eat those sort of things because it saves a lot of money as well i tend to just not eat that sort of stuff 
occasionally i'll have a treat i will i'm not saying i just eat like this all the time because that would be lying <laughs> but i do i i just vary my diet i know it doesn't look like i vary it but being on my own it's easier because i can just eat the same thing over and over i haven't got to worry about feeding a family and other people wanting differences like different foods it's going to be more expensive that way so although it can be a bit bland and a bit boring at times what i tend to do is just stick with it because i know i'm saving money and it's good for my health but like i say i do occasionally have a treat i don't really drink a lot of alcohol so i don't buy alcohol anymore i don't buy cigarettes i don't smoke anymore nothing like that so it's basically that's the food shop when it gets to the point where i need to do a full shop what i'll do is i will record it and i'll put a video out just so you can see the difference because i know it doesn't look like a lot people think you never eat i eat a lot i've got a lot of food in still and it's yeah i eat a lot i eat a lot more than what i've got and i know it doesn't look like a lot the majority of the time i alternate between shopping at lidl and shopping at tesco conveniently i've got both shops near to where i am within walking distance the tesco is more of a convenient store so that can be more expensive than going to the big supermarket however they have reduced items and when they do it's worth looking you know what i'm like now if you watch my content you know i love a good bargain anything with a yellow sticker worth looking at which is where i got those potatoes from i picked up some yogurts for 40p in there before cheese you can pick up for like 30p for a, for a block of cheese it's it's really worth it's worth having a look because <laughs> you never know what you're gonna buy and i'll go to lidl because it is cheaper i do alternate between the two sometimes i go into the bigger supermarket in tesco because you can get better value for money there's also more of a selection because the shop i've got by me is more of a convenience store so i do shake it up a little bit it just depends it depends my mood and depends if i'm looking at bargains and what i'm going for i hope you're all doing well i hope you like this video if you did leave me a comment and let me know how you save money where you shop what you do to save money on your shopping bills and what you buy because i'm really intrigued to see how everybody else goes about their weekly food shop thank you to everybody liking subscribing and commenting on my videos it does mean the world to me and everyone's so supportive so thank you so much for that i will leave it there for now take care of yourselves and i will see you in my next video